Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got a bunch of these uh, straight lines crisscrossing uh, each other's, as you can see in this given diagram. And as a result, we are ended up with this uh, angle equals to 117 degrees. This angle as uh, 118 degrees. And this angle as 56 degrees. And moreover, uh, this angle is being represented by x whereas uh, this angle is being represented by y and now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, the sum of these angles x uh, plus y we are going to find the value of uh, some of these two angles please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and now let's recall the vertical angles definition. The vertical angles are the angles opposite to each other when two lines cross. And now we can see that uh, these uh, two angles are our vertical angles and they are going to be congruent. So therefore, if this angle is uh, x, then this angle has got to be x uh, as well. And likewise, uh, this angle is going to be vertical angle to this one and they are congruent so if this angle is 56 degrees uh, then this angle has got to be 56 degrees uh, as well and now let's recall the straight angle property in other words uh, the angle in a straight angle is going to be 180 degrees and here we could see this whole angle is uh, 180 degrees and we know this angle is uh, 117 degrees so this angle has got to be our 63 degrees angle and furthermore we could see that this whole angle is our straight angle and that is going to be equal to 180 degrees as well and we know this angle is 118 degrees so therefore uh, this remaining angle has got to be 62 degrees and now let's recall the exterior angle theorem. According to this theorem, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles, as you can see in this given diagram. And here we can see this angle C is our exterior angle, whereas the angles uh, A and B are uh, our opposite uh, interior angles, such that uh, the exterior angle C is going to be equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles uh, A and B. And now we are going to focus on this uh, triangle. And we can see that this uh, angle Y is our exterior angle. And that angle is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite uh, interior angles, 56 degrees and 63 degrees. So therefore we could write our angle Y is going to be equal to 56 degrees plus 63 degrees and if we add our angle y turns out to be equal to 119 degrees so thus our angle y turns out to be 119 degrees angle and now we are going to focus on this uh, tiny triangle as well and here we can see our this uh, angle y is an exterior angle and that's going to be equal to the sum of these uh, opposite interior angles uh, x uh, and 62 degrees so therefore we could write uh, this exterior angle is uh, 119 degrees is going to be equal to x uh, plus uh, 62 degrees and now we are going to subtract uh, 62 degrees uh, from both uh, sides uh, to isolate uh, angle x and here this is gone so therefore our angle x value simply turns out to be 57 degrees so thus our angle x value simply turns out to be 57 degrees and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the value of uh, x plus y our x value is 57 degrees and y value is uh, 119 degrees let's go ahead and fill in the blank so x plus y is going to be equal to 57 degrees plus 119 degrees and if we add 
our sum of angles x and y is going to be equal to 176 uh, degrees so thus our uh, sum of the angles uh, x plus y value turns out to be 176 degrees and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye